Before this video begins, I just want to let you all know that we do have new merch inside of the merch store right now, including the brand new Common Sense hoodie, which I know you guys have been asking for. I really hope you guys enjoy it because it's, it looks like I like it. It looks cool. <laughs> that and it'll help the channel out and me very much so because uh, YouTube's been YouTube's been a little wonky with those with that demonetization. It's uh yeah, so so yeah, so go check out the hoodie. It's in the merch store right now, including a poster and some stickers. So do it do okay do bye, do bye. <laughs> I tried Vegemite for the first time the other day. Oh dude, that's a lot. Ah, <laughs> uh. mm, it smells horrible. Yeah, uh. it smells bad. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm ready. I'm <laughs> You're not afraid of anything. Conquer your fears. I'm not afraid of anything except for whale, sea cucumbers, and heights. Mm. It's not that bad. It's not, it's not bad at all. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> 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 so that was fun. Contrary to popular belief, I honestly don't think it's all that bad. I mean, it's freaking disgusting, but not as bad as people make it out to be. Plus, I ate like a spoonful, and I'm pretty sure just saying that pissed off all of Australia. So yeah. Anyways, I was a weird kid, let's talk about that. According to my mom, I was a handful when I was growing up. At the age of three, I was super hyper, incredibly handsome, and for some reason in love with bananas. I loved them so much to the point where my mom had to literally stop buying bananas because otherwise, I would know. My little baby nanner senses would go off, and I would know right when one of those delicious yellow potassium filled boomerangs entered my house. And <laughs> if there was a banana in my house, by golly, it was going into my mouth. Wait, that that didn't that didn't sound. I I, I really I really like bananas, but I'm 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 not it, not not that there's anything wrong with putting a banana in your mouth. I, I was I was I was just gonna eat the bananas. I was three. One day my mom decided to buy some bananas, but she knew if I saw them, they would immediately be devoured. So instead of putting them on the kitchen table with the rest of the fruit, she decided to find a hiding spot. Hmm, where should I? The top cabinet? No, I'd probably forget it's there. Ah, <sighs> under the, under the sink? No, he can definitely reach down there. Um, how about, uh... Ah, on top of the fridge. She knew my weakness. The only thing that could stop me from acquiring those golden arches of mushy deliciousness. Tall things. At first, I didn't know they were up there, but one day I was watching some Teletubbies sipping on my sippy cup and enjoying a relaxing day of not having to worry about taxes. When suddenly, the power goes out. What? What happened? What is this? Where are my Teletubbies? Uh, he hello? Excuse me? Tall lady person? Y you see a problem here? Anything at all? My Teletubbies have vanished and I don't have object permanence figured out yet, so I think they died. So fix that. Get me my Tubbies. I need my- Why aren't you listening? Hmm. Seems like the power went out. I'll be right back, sweetie. You stay right here. Finally! Now, what am I supposed to do? Just sit here? Ugh. Probably gonna die of baby boredom before she even returns. <sighs> I could go for some apple juice right now. What is an apple? What is juice? Ah, where the frick is that tall lady person with my tele, 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 hello? It was like destiny. No matter how far you keep us apart, the universe knew. The universe knew that those bananas were meant to be digested by my stomach fluids. According to my mom, she was looking for her phone to call up the electric company to see if she needed to pay a bill, but forgot she left it on the kitchen counter. So she walked out of her room, went back downstairs, went to grab the phone, and to her surprise, saw me just sitting on top of the fridge, dangling my baby feet, living the high life, and eating bananas. She said she had no idea how I got up there and I was just, well, well I was just there. <laughs> <laughs> what the? How, how did you even get up there? Laugh while you can, mother. Because I can now see the peak of your hiding abilities. Well, I'm only beginning to tap into mine. <laughs> did you just climb up? You see, I have finally realized the legend. <laughs> okay, I think you had your fun. Let's get down now, you little turd nugget. That's right. You're not dealing with the average baby anymore, mother. I, Adam, have no idea how I got up here. I think I'm stuck. Get me down from here, please. Fast forward a little and my imagination is going ham in my newly kid form body. What? <laughs> 
There isn't really much I could do at that age because, well, I can't drive, go places by myself, stay up past 8, watch rated PG-13 movies, or even drink my juice boxes filled with wine. So I would just let my imagination unwind a bit and play a good old game of pretend. I would mainly just conjure up your typical kid stuff. You know, the kind of things that a seven-year-old would probably, most likely, definitely be in. Shadow, we need to calculate the amount of money that we made throughout the year and subtract 25% of it to give to the government while also worrying if we even did the math right and hoping we didn't forget any extra cash we collected from small jobs before this facility detonates. Don't you bring my mother into this! Okay, okay, before you make fun, yes, I had a Shadow the Hedgehog doll. I mean action figure! And yes, he was awesome. I used to do everything with that doll. Action figure. Shadow was the homie. During the summer breaks, I had a cousin who we should call King Waldorf, who would come over to my house to hang out. But like I said before, we were children and there's not much you can do as a child except letting your imagination run wild. So. That's exactly what we did. Usually through cute, innocent little superhero battles. Damn, not here. Shadow, no! Oh, there he goes. And I hope he sends my condolences to Maria. <laughs> and as for you. <coughs> Ouch. You thought you could defeat me? A weakling like you? <laughs> mm. ah! You son of a bitch! Nah, uh, uh. Your dad's home. <coughs> you killed my best friend. Welp, look at the bright side. You'll be joining him very soon. <coughs> Any last words? Yeah. <coughs> As a great man once said, you were too slow. Wait, what? Wasn't that sign? As you can see, things got a little dramatic. Now that I think about it, my seven-year-old self would be amazing at making horrible fan fictions. To be honest though, it's not too weird for a child to be playing pretend, but after that day, I'm pretty sure I stopped talking to my cousin for a solid month because he murdered my Shadow the Hedgehog doll. I mean action fig- Fast forward a couple more years, 8th grade I believe, and my shenanigans still haven't really let off. So, me and a couple kids used to love playing hide and go seek in the dark around our apartment complex. Probably not the safest thing in the world, but eh, could be worse. Could be doing drugs. Some kids used to hate playing with me because of how scary it would be when it came to me seeking, and how frustrating it would be when I would hide. The reasoning behind that is because I was one of the few kids who didn't really care about bugs and junk, so I'd literally just hide in the bushes waiting for my next victim. Or I'd go full-fledged ninja mode and literally hide in the shadows so no one could see me at first glance. One day we were playing and people were starting to understand how I worked. As soon as the game started, the seekers and hiders would check for bushes and take a second glance at dark areas just to find me. They were catching me left and right to the point where I needed to develop an entirely new strategy. So my 14-year-old self decided it would be a great idea to go to the camping store with my mom and buy things a child like myself should not be buying. I decided to buy a ski mask, a black sweater, a thing of rope to trip my victims, some black pants, and black running shoes. You can see where I'm going with this. You might be asking, Wait, Adam, didn't this raise any flags with your mom? Dude, I don't even know. <laughs> she was just going with the flow. I mean, it was my money, so she didn't really care. However, comma, the cashier was a little bit more cautious. I'd like to buy all this stuff, please. Uh, okay. Thanks. So, uh, what are you doing with all this stuff? Oh, you know, the usual. Okay, okay. Um, can you wait here, please? Gee willikers, sir. Of course I can. <laughs> so dumb. Moments later, he came back and, of course, he brought his good old jolly friend, security guards. So, why are you buying all these things? You know, the usual. What does that even mean to you? Kid, what are you planning on doing with all this stuff? I'm gonna put it on and hide in the shadows, waiting for my next victim to unknowingly pass by. You victims? And what are you gonna do when you get a hold of said victims? Put my hands on them, of course. So they lose the game. Oh, so this is a game to you. Okay, I've heard enough. You're going away for a long time, pal. What? Yes, Hi hide and go seek is a game. Duh. What else would I be using this stuff for? Wait. Oh. 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 <laughs> no. 
you're wrong. I then explained to the security my plan to hide in the shadows like a full-fledged ninja, and they seemed pretty chill afterwards. One of the guards was even like, not gonna lie, wish I thought of that as a kid. I then get back home, and once again, we all start playing hide-and-go-seek in the dark. Of course, my plan worked flawlessly. No one was seeing me coming. I was tagging kids left and right, pouncing at every opportunity I could. No one was able to find me. Once again, I was the ninja assassin warrior I was respected for being. Yep, it was a great time to be alive. Oh, and also the police were called for a suspicious character wearing a mask. Okay, bye, I love you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment down below what weird things you did as a kid. I would love to read them. I love, you know, reading all the stories that you guys put inside the comment section. They're really fun. Also, I, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, was a, I was a weird kid as a kid, but that's okay. If you're weird, then who cares? It's fine, it's fine, it's who cares? <laughs> I remember when I was little, I had a, I had a, I had an imaginary friend with my cousin who we shall call Barbaduke. <laughs> and like years later, I'm talking like maybe a year or two ago, I asked her, I was like, do you remember that, uh, do you remember that imaginary friend we had, the dolphin? It was a dolphin. And she looks at me and goes, oh yeah, it died. <laughs> she didn't explain why it died or how it died, it just died. It was... Poor thing, it was a dolphin too, and like, dolphins are pretty cool, I guess. I mean, they are from the ocean, and frick, frick the ocean. At this point, I'm just talking, trying to get the, trying to get the fan art going. But yeah, once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I almost said see you in the next one, but that's not, that's, that's Markiplier. <laughs> Stay hydrated.